Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over a cover four match beater for a one play touchdown that some of you guys might not know. Some of you guys might know it, but in this video, this is exactly what we are going over. Now, whenever somebody in a head to head game beats me with anything, instead of crying or whining about it, calling it cheese, I'm the type of guy to save it and find out what it was that I was beaten by so that I so I myself can try to find a way to get around that now in this video I actually have gameplay video of the cover four beater that someone actually ran on me and I said you know what let me save it and try to find figure out what the play was and that's exactly what I did and this is the clip right here as you can see my man is literally bombing me over the top for a one play touchdown now granted my my team on madden ultimate team is not the greatest this guy had a god squad uh so it it, it was it was a little bit it was a little bit difficult to uh to to stop this guy from time to time especially if i ran match coverage because it seemed like he had like a pretty you know pretty decent knowledge gap when it comes to that but it obviously gave me the tools to make this video for you guys now very very easy beater when it comes to this actual play as we're going to be coming out of the gun empty base flex middle high low is the play and then on the defensive side if you guys want the proof we are already in match coverage and we're going to come out and cover four quarters because that's the defense that i was running and the beauty about this is you can find this play in a lot of different playbooks i believe it's 26 25 25 or 26 different playbooks actually i'll count right now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twenty five different playbooks and the play is middle high low so all you're gonna all you're gonna need to do is put square on a slant that's what it looked like it for for him and then putting the tight end on a streak now personally i kind of the tight end being on a streak kind of makes it kind of makes it a little bit difficult to run but if we don't get shedded as you can see darren waller is actually wide open for some reason the that 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 high safety kind of reacts in a way that uh he he reacts very very weird he doesn't really play his route and it kind of forces as you can see look at how wide open he is Ooh, perfect 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 and, and all we're doing we're putting square on a slant putting the tight end on a streak and how i'm doing it for this video specifically is i'm putting r1 on a smart routed route so that post that he's on i'm smart routing that now a good thing about this is you guys have kind of two man man coverage beaters with the slant here if you guys have a fast enough receiver and then you also have this route here that you guys can kind of toss up for a nice little ad catch And that time it was a little it actually didn't work that time so again it, it's it's gonna be one of those plays that it relies on the 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 pressure that you get from you know from confusing that deep high safety to kind of make you know a different a different set of uh a, a different set of reads here now one thing that i do want to try is kind of motioning this guy inside because i feel like if we engage in that guy a little bit faster oh yeah that might be it that might be it right there so that's going to be the route setup that i personally am going to want to use we're going to motion this guy with a slant here and it helps because it puts him in a position where he can't get pressed either which means that he's going to be a nice little read for you guys to actually have out there and then as you can see we got waller right out there don't know how he actually made a play on that but he did and but as as you can see the the route is open the route is there and if you guys get pressured a little bit too quick you have this underneath route that can get hit because this guy is kind of manned up on him and then these guys get all confused and again this route here if you guys have a fast enough player we can throw that over the top as well so this 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 is kind of doubling down as like as sort of a money play as well especially with the motion here um because they kind of get confused as to who's who's guarding who so as you can see ooh. now i know that that's Devonte adams but i believe that's also is that is that certain or no no that's darby never mind i mean darby's fast too but i mean that is De that's that's Devonte adams so he's not he's not gonna take too many uh too he's not gonna get beat too many times by a cornerback in this game 
but again you're just gonna motion that and as you can see he's actually he's actually wide open now that i put that uh put that put that wide receiver on a motioned on a motion little uh slant there so if you guys are looking to beat this cover four meta this is definitely a play that i would look into um empty sets tend to confuse a lot of people um especially if they're trying to just you know set their same their same audibles with their same pressure and it's very very annoying a lot of the times but as you can see this is very a lot more consistent with the motion so we're just putting the tight end on a streak there we're putting square on a slant and then we're motioning the slant over and it creates a very very nice little concept especially with the post route and the slant because you have a high low read there and if that guy's open immediately you're too little buddy you are too little but if that guy's open immediately and the, and the pressure's coming in you can easily throw that immediately now i'm actually just going to show the replay on that because i kind of myself want to see how the routes react you see how this guy's reacting to to this route here this route is breaking open every single time now i do want to try one thing before i get out of here is i want to try pressing this defense as well but with the press just in case i just want to see how the defense works i have no problem labbing in in these videos if you guys don't want these videos to be that long that's perfectly fine with me you guys can find another channel obviously um because i like to be as thorough as possible and if we can figure out something together then that'll be kind of cool as well yeah so that x gets wide open r1 yeah this is this is definitely a very very good play to run if you guys are looking for a match coverage beater Now I'm gonna show the instant replay with those routes specifically just to showcase as to what got open. This route got torched. So we have a step on him. So we literally, if we lob this, this could potentially be a touchdown here. Obviously we have our initial beater with the tight end. That is, that is a, that's a touchdown. And then you've got this route here that you can kind of squeeze this in. As soon as you see the three rack kind of guard now the, the three rack most of the time you have to you have to use this as the user so the three rack starts guarding the slant and it leaves this guy kind of wide open if you pass lead that up this guy will end up being wide open which is nice um, another press uh, if this guy's fast enough obviously you can kind of lob that over the top hoping for the best ag that you possibly can get but again the you have a lot of different options when it comes to this especially if they're running the cover four meta um but yeah let's run it one more time and then let's get out of let's get out of dodge boom we're gonna put him on a slant put the tight end on a streak and then bombs away oh that's a horrible throw horrible throw horrible throw horrible throw let's run that one more time run it one more time run it one more time run it one more time if I can motion hike it, I think it'd be a lot better, but we can't motion hike it. We're just motioning him over. And then he is wide open for a beautiful one play touchdown. My name is Pony Montana. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and comment down below if you guys are struggling with anything. I'll try I try my best to help anybody out who has an issue Madden related. And yeah, this is the place to be if you guys are struggling with anything. My name is Pony Montana. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always. Two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.